Before going deep into the code and generating XRP Ledger account, let's first learn some basic things about XRP Ledger account. When we programmatically generate XRPL account, we will get an output something like this. We will be generating XRPL accounts in our next video. So this is how the output looks like in JSON format. Here we have an actual address which you can share with anyone. Anyone can send funds to this address, but you should not share your secret. There are three popular secret formats and they are family seed, mnemonic and secret numbers. Family seeds are quite common and it starts with the letter S. And if you have ever used MetaMask, which is a dApp for uh, Ethereum ecosystem, you already know what is a mnemonic. It's also a secret format, by the way. And if you have ever used SUM, and if you have ever created a new account in SUM, it gives you a secret in the form of eight rows of six digit numbers, and that's called secret number. We also have key pair here and the encryption algorithm used. We will come back to this in later part of the course, but make sure you do not share your private key with anyone. And one more important thing, the R address, it's called R address because all XRPL account address starts with letter R. It's also called as classic address, by the way. There is another format called X address. We will also cover that in a different video for now. This R address is like your mailbox. Anyone with this address can send you a mail or a gift, but only the person with the key can access the mails inside the mailbox. So the key here is your secret. It can be any format that is family seed, mnemonic or a secret number. If you share this secret key with anyone else, they would have access to your mails in the mailbox. So it's always recommended to store your secret keys in a place no one else have access to. But make sure you don't lose it. Unlike traditional mailboxes, you cannot break into your XRP Ledger account and access your funds without the secret key. If you lose your keys, you permanently irreversibly lose access to your account and hence the funds in it. Now let's learn little more about our address. R address have a length between 25 to 35 characters, always starts with letter R, hence the name R address, unless it's an X address format. R address is comprised of alphanumeric characters, excluding number zero, capital letter O, capital letter I, and lowercase letter L. And the R address is case sensitive. Now, creating a valid address is strictly a mathematical process. There is no need to connect or communicate with XRP Ledger to generate a valid address. In fact, in our next video, we will actually generate a XRPL account completely offline. And the next point here might be a little confusing if you have never used XRP Ledger account before, but it's simple. We can mathematically generate XRP address, but it only gets included in the XRP Ledger after it meets the account reserve or base reserve criteria. Without funding your XRPL account, that is the new account, if you check its information on any explorer, it will tell you that the account is not found simply because it doesn't meet the base reserve or the account reserve criteria. Now, what is this base reserve criteria? So to have an account, an address must hold a minimum amount of XRP in the shared global ledger. You cannot send this XRP to other addresses. To fund a new address, you must send that address enough XRP to meet the reserve requirements. It simply means that to activate a newly created XRPL account, you need to fund that account with the amount of XRP specified as base reserve. Currently it's 10 XRP. So, so this is how you activate an XRPL account and include it in the ledger. And also note that you cannot send this base reserve to anybody else. It can be used as transaction fees, which is very minimal by the way. So it can be used that way. And when you delete the XRPL account, you'll get back most of the XRP, which is reserved. And also note that funding this new account from your other R address or from your exchange account doesn't give you any special privileges over this account. Whoever has the secret key corresponding to this account address has full control over the account and all the XRP it contains.